Hello and welcome to a rather croaky how to code well uh, tutorial. I'm armed with a cup of tea just in case uh, I, I need it. My throat is feeling pretty bad uh, at the moment, but we're going to persevere. We're going to look at some PHP today. Um, I know that we've done a lot of HTML form type stuff. We've got the forms to a point where um, we have a series of input fields, um, uh, text boxes and check boxes and radio buttons and select fields and so forth. But I want to get that to a point where we can actually submit that and actually save that information to a database. So where I want it to be is over here. Where it is at the moment is over here. And there is a long journey in between. Now, there is uh, a lot of stuff that we haven't discussed yet about PHP to help with this journey, this uh, journey of moving, of submitting data and saving data. We need to validate it. We need to uh, sanitize it. We need to do all sorts of things to it um, to ensure its integrity and then save it to the database and so forth. So I'm going to talk about some very granular and basic things in PHP that I haven't discussed before, but we need to know these kind of things before we can get onto that uh, development journey. So what I would definitely say is that this stuff that I'm talking about in this series, this basic beginners PHP series, um, isn't just specifically for HTML forms. You can use this stuff, this knowledge in, in your just your general everyday PHP usage. Today, we're going to focus on killing the PHP process, terminating the script. Why is this useful? Well, we can terminate a script at certain points. Perhaps if we hit an error and we want to kill the script, maybe we are looping through a lot of stuff like a cron job, if you will, and we are executing a lot of bits and pieces. Maybe we want to terminate the script because it's come across an error. Maybe even we want to run some debugging in our local development environment. And so we want to kill the script and echo out a or, or print out a, a value, a variable value at, at a certain point. Please, please, please don't do that in production. There are certainly far better ways of debugging PHP, a lot of which I haven't discussed at, at length at all uh, yet in this in this channel, but I will do so in future. But let's have a look at how we can kill or terminate the script. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually write a script, right? So we're going to do echo uh, hello world, whoops, like that. Uh, I'm actually going to process this, process this in the internal PHP server. So uh, I'm going to print this out as HTML. I'm going to open up a, um, another one. So echo, whoops, how are you, question mark, another BR in here, whoops. save that and go into the browser, refresh the page. We have, hello world, how are you? Okay, so what we can do is terminate the script before we get to the how are you point. So we would do that by either using the die or exit. So here we would do die and we would also give it a message. So we have got here, let's uh, refresh and see we've now changed that from how are you to we have got here the reason being is that because php works from top down it's processing line two then it's hitting line three and it's saying well we we've called die therefore we're we're terminating the script and therefore we never actually get to this point um, now like i said we can use die or exit in fact die is an alias of exit they do exactly the same in the sense that die is an alias of exit exit is not an alias of die um, just to let you know so we can do exit here save that refresh and it does exactly the same thing so let's make this script a little bit more complex let's remove all of that what i'm going to do is actually do a for loop so var uh, v is equal to i'm going to do 10 and then for i is equal to zero and then if uh, i is less than or equal to v uh v and then i plus plus now you might be looking at this and going what on earth have you just randomly spewed on the screen this random gobbledygook i have talked about control flows before i will link to 
the uh, the video at the top here as well as in the description. Essentially, though, this is just a loop. We're looping through uh, 10 times because uh, V is equal to 10. We're saying I is equal to zero and then I is if I is less than or equal to V. Uh, keep going, keep looping, and each time we increment i. So that's uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and all sorts. So what we can do in here is just do an echo, and we can do we uh, have got to whoops, concat that to i and also concat that to uh, a br. So we have a, a line break. Refresh this script now, and we have got to 0 all the way down to 10. So we've got 11 outputs here from 0 to 10. Uh, and what we can do is use the die or the exit to actually stop the processing of a script at a certain point, right? So for example, if we get to uh, point 0.5, we might want to kill the script. We might want to terminate the script. So what I would do here is if, oops, if um, i is equal, equal to uh, five uh, what we can do is just die and I'm going to put in we have reached oops reached uh, and then I'm going to concat that to I like so save that refresh and notice what's happening we stop the script from ever moving beyond the point of five so it says we have reached five now an example of why this is working as top down if we go back to the script to the code, re uh, and oops, cut that, put that in here. It's going to go, we have got to four, we have got to five, and then it's we have reached five. The reason why is that we have the echo statement before the if statement. Let's refresh this. And there we see we, we have got to five and then we have reached five. OK, so it's very important to remember the order in which you do things. PHP works from top down, as most programming languages do. Um, so V is equal to 10. Then we loop through it until we get to um, zero to 10. And each time when we increment uh, I, we're echoing out uh, this statement here, this this string here, and then we're checking if i is 5, and then we kill it. Now, uh, another thing that I should mention about the die and the exit, again, if I was just to put in exit here, save that, refresh, it's just going to put out the same thing, because it's, it's, it's the same thing, right? Die is an alias of exit. But a lot of people treat these like functions, right? These are actually language constructs. So a language construct is uh, syntax for PHP. Um, and in this case, we don't actually need to pass anything in here. Um, we can just save that, refresh. It's not going to print out a message. It's just going to stop at this point. OK, and again, we can do that with die as well. So something I should mention about the die and the, the exit is that we can actually pass in an integer instead of a string. So the string will be treated like a message, but we can actually do a, an integer. These are basically status codes. They won't actually be printed to the screen, but you can find these out in your log file. So let's do 301, save that, refresh. I'd, I've just picked 301 randomly, um, but I mean, it could be two, right? You could just go two refresh and yeah so it's removed the that it, we're not printing anything out um but it's stopped the script and it's got a a a a code of two and again i'll demonstrate that with exit and refresh just the same thing now one thing i do often see uh, and i i'm to blame for this as well i've done this a lot in the past is treat exit and die like they are functions they're actually um uh, language constructs. So a lot of the times I see either exit written like that or die written like that. So we've got an empty set of parentheses here. So so it, it's almost treated like a function call. Actually, the die and exit are language constructs. So they're syntax of PHP. We don't need to do that. We can actually have uh, we can actually write it like this. So die and then semicolon. So where would you use this? I mean, what what's the usefulness of die and exit? Well, if you've got a script that you're running, maybe this is instead of one ten, maybe this is ten thousand, a million, whatever, um, and you've got an error in your uh, 
code or something's happened, maybe you're processing a, a lot of messages, a, a queue, if you will, of stuff, and something's broken on like the the 5,000th one, right? Um, you want to stop the script from processing maybe because you've 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 reached a problem and you want to you you want to analyze that problem rather than process the rest uh, then you would uh, terminate the script at that point maybe you're redirecting from one page to another maybe you're doing a, a, a header redirect which is something that we're going to get on to later on uh with the with the html forms and so you want to ensure that you are terminating the script um after the redirect right um, because you're now redirecting to somewhere else. You're not allowing anything to be processed after the header redirect. We're going to get onto that, like I said, later on. Uh, but there, th that's just two of very many ways that we can use this. So, um, so maybe you're debugging something locally. Uh, and I want to emphasize the word locally here. Do not do this on production whatsoever. Uh, but what you could do is you could print out something in this uh, die statement. So you could just, like I said, like I've done, you, you could just do that. Just remember, though, that integers are treated uh, differently. They're treated like status code. So an integer here would be five. If I was to do this, it's not actually going to print anything out uh, because it's treated like a status code and therefore it's not going to be printed out. If you wanted to print out an integer, then you would need to wrap it in a string um, so value, whoops, so like that, okay, otherwise five will just be treated like a status um, and not be printed out. So that is how to terminate out of a PHP script. Now I'm going to grab some more tea because my throat is really bad, uh, so I'm going to leave it there, but do subscribe if you haven't done so already because uh, I do a tutorial like this every Tuesday, plus a, a web chat, basically a rant, if you will, or on web uh, stuff. Um, also some bits and pieces about freelance and career advice uh, every Friday. So do subscribe to pick those up. Do share this round to anyone that you might think uh, might find this useful as well. And also do give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Um, but thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. And I shall see you again next time. I'm going to grab some tea. Cheers.